This is episode 59 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, October 4th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve try four craft beers from Phoenix, Arizona-based Wren House Brewing Company, a Kolsch, an American lager, a mild English ale, and an American pale ale. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yeah. We got tech guy, Steve. Present. Steve Arino. All are present and accounted for. Hey, so today, guys, uh, we're going to take a, uh, a little taste around a couple beers from Arizona's Wren House. Yeah. Uh, Good house. I like this uh, trend of just doing beers from one brewery. From one brewery. Yeah, yeah. I like the same thing. It yeah. makes show notes much easier. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that, that as well. That's what, that's what we got to do. So the uh, so while Charlie's popping our first beer. Get uh, into it. This mm-hmm. is a little brewery we, we stopped to. Uh, oh, we stopped into really last good. Sunday while we were in uh, um, coming back from the, the Overland Expo. Um, Are you the, cheers? Uh, and these almost guys, smells uh, like a, a sour a little bit. Is it? Yeah. Just does. It's no. I know it's not, but I right. mean, it's fresh, crisp, and clear. Let me tell you that right now, man. So, it is. So the first beer it looks like that, that Charlie grabbed here is uh, uh, is Ren House's Valley beer. So mm. this is the GABF winner, uh, 2019. What'd they get? Uh, they got a silver. Good enough. Uh, uh, Should have got a gold. <laughs> yeah, for the American lager. Uh, this is a corn lager. Mm. They say it's a real American lager brewed with flaked corns, American lager yeast, and a touch of uh, Say's hops. Wow. Uh, this is unfiltered American lager. is incredibly sessionable, yeah. yet equally memorable. Uh, in our minds, lagers can be just as delicious as an Imperial Stout or a Northeast mm-hmm. IPA. It still so is. So these guys, uh, so this is like, I mean, it's just crystal clear. You could you burn ants with like this a, on the sidewalk. I mean, it's like, I mean, that is just crystal clear. It's like Coors Light. Um, you but know, better. Coors Light. That's magnificent. Cannonball man. Run Coors Light. Wow. That is really good. Mm-hmm. This was like the most memorable beer that I had brought back the last time. You know, the first time yeah, that I yeah, went in yeah, like yeah, 2018. Yeah. I was super excited about it. You know, and I'm like, oh, it's valley beer right you know i mean it gets hot and uh like how great would that be when mm. you come home from work you're like huh yeah yeah mowing the lawn yeah no it's uh replanting the uh what it arrow <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's uh that's certainly a crispy boy but Did it's, you guys uh, go to the phoenix or prescott we went to the phoenix one yeah prescott one is not really a it's a tasting room it's only like open like three days a week and it's only from like a one to six, I think, or one to five, she said. That's like their production yeah. brewery. Mm. They're, they're the, trying it out. The original one was uh, the one that we went to. It's really cool little... Uh, I it's guess a it's shack. A, yeah, so it's a 1930s bungalow. Yeah. Like, so the tasting room is in the house, right? Like they just converted the, the whole house into, a, into the tasting room. It's 1930s bungalow. The house that was in the back in the garage, they converted into the original brewery. So they, they have like a 10 barrel brewing system there at the, uh, the original place. And then just all their storage back behind the house and kind of a, um, you know, like, like a, a little yard. Yeah. Just a regular little. And then, you know, where the yard would be is all now they're parking. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty cool little spot. Uh, it's a neat little part of town. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Kind of, you know, kooky on the inside. They got a lot of stickers and stuff in there on the walls and, uh, Get the cooler. You can just walk up there and grab your beer if you want to purchase. And they had a lot of really light, a lot of a lot of light beer. I mean, they probably had five loggers, loggers and pilsners, pilsners yeah, uh, that were available in cans to go. And they were good because um, we tried several of them. So, and you got to be able to have. Uh, I mean, I think you know yeah. just the location. Mm-hmm. Right, if you're going to sell beer to locals, you probably don't want to be a stout heavy beer yeah. in Arizona. Well, yeah. they did have a stout. They did. Yeah. Unfortunately, no, they we couldn't find that. That was a Horace collab too. It was. So mm. I'm just as soon as I find it, we'll stout drink it. Stout fest. 17. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. we have to step again, again. Four. So yeah. the, uh, wow, this is really good. I like it. It is super refreshing. I mean, this is like drinking, uh, you know what it reminds me of? A lot of, not taste wise, but just the crispiness and lightness is Party Cup from North mm. Park. And, uh, whew, gosh, man, if those two collabed on something like that, dude, that would be a out of the parker. Mm. Yeah, so do they have great there? beer. They did not have any food. You can just bring food in. Um, 
We they, uh, before. Yeah, we went to a little taco shop right around the corner. That was excellent. Yeah, it was really good. Um, but yeah, no, it was just beer. Um, and, you know, they do the five ounce, eight ounce. Uh, they'd give you a splash of the beer. You know, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, let me just see if I like, you know, just the, mm-hmm. a little bit. Or they'd give you like a five ounce pour, eight ounce pour. Or d- then depending on, you know, the size of the beer would dictate. Like they did half pours of whatever was pints. Mm-hmm. Um, Super friendly. Like gal behind the bar. She was excellent. You know, knowledgeable, you know, talked about all the beers and what her favorite was and what, you know, if you like this, this is what you should probably drink. We we went through the gambit. I mean, we hit everything we could there to a point, you know, just tasters at least, just getting a little swash out of it. But uh, all the beers were that I tasted were excellent. Unfortunately, the ones, some of the ones that I wanted were not in cans or mm. they ran out of them. So, you know, have to go back. It's a plus. No, it's phenomenal. It's a uh, it's super crisp, you know. Um, that's a great wow. beer. Yeah, it's so super. It's like almost water like, you know, mm-hmm. with the, the nice. Uh, the smell on it's fabulous, too. Yeah. You get so, a whole pint of that and you just sit there on the back patio. Right. <laughs> it's an amazing beer. Yeah, so this, yeah, that was a, uh, it's 4.6. They also make one that's at 3.2% wow. of these. Oh, okay. Like light. a Valley Beer Light. Oh. So the, you know, it's just probably even. Can't imagine how much lighter it would be. Right. What's the next beer, Charlie? We're going with the uh, Kolsch. It hovers when you pour it in. All right. Ooh, that smells good, too, man. Jumping right on the... That is amazing smell. So this is... Smells so fresh. This is their Kolsch. So it comes in at 4.8%. The the details they provide on this is it's brewed with a traditional German grain bill, noble hops. Um, Our Kolsch is true to style take on the classic beer of Cologne. Uh, one, uh, one of our original recipes from when we opened over six years ago, uh, this one is near and dear to our hearts. Biscuit like malt flavor, light fruit finish, uh, results in a crushable and light ale. It's definitely not the same <laughs> and it is, it's got some, uh, slight, uh, a little, yeah, a little variant cloudy. there Ooh. I mean, as, as it should be, but still, uh, looks really super light, tasty. Huh? Gosh. That one's even just as good. I don't know. They did a really good job. I was I was so pleased to get a couple of nice lagers and pilsners just to yeah. hit on. You know, that's it's hard to drink IPAs all day. For sure. <laughs> they had some great IPAs, too, in the hazies. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm just, ra- I'd rather drink, uh, you know, I think pilsners, like a hoppy pilsner, I think. They're out there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think I brought some home. I brought, uh, I think I got two four packs and, uh, and a six pack of the Valley beer. Um, I haven't had any of it yet. I'm, I'm, uh, put it away for my camping trip. Ah, yes. Where's that going to be? Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Crater yeah. Lake. So we'll see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, no, I like that. Um, really soft. It's got yeah. a great, uh, great aftertaste. Like, a, I mean, just the, kind of maltiness yeah it's good man what do you think of that steve i like it yeah i've been drinking a lot of german beers have you it's oktoberfest what's the uh what's what's the best beer you've had steve well i'm gonna go with something that wasn't the german one because it just popped Uh up in my my list here so virgin and fall did a collab called domestic Uh it's a double dry hop pale ale it was really really good for a pale ale I drink any it's beer. We got four <laughs> four hops. Yeah. And four malts. Three malts. So it's really good. Called the domestic. And it's got a cool graphic of California's coast in a map format. Oh yeah, that is really uh Sacramento, that's... Oakland, San Francisco. So who put it out? Fall? Fall. Okay. In collaboration with Bert Bert. Yeah. I was drinking these beers. The uh the one I wanted to get was uh Wally Oop or Wally Op, whatever it is. O O P. Uh-huh. Did you taste that? No, I didn't taste it because I, then I would be really uh-huh. disappointed probably. But even that uh, stakeout snacks they were out of. So I was kind of disappointed in the hazies. The Spellbinder was good, but it just it, it was not on the same level as these two other ones. Well, the Wally is a triple, so it's like 10%. That Spellbinder... They they had that in. I didn't I didn't get any IPAs. I wanted all their. I went there for their their loggers and yeah. pilsners, but that Spellbinder 2021 
uh, GABF Gold for hazy IPA. Wow. Hazy or juicy mm. IPA. Was I gold. tasted that one. I had one of those. Yeah, did you? It was pretty dang good. I was I was impressed with it, but uh, I mean, when you get two other ones, you know, you'd like to kind of taste them all, right? Yeah. At least I would, but. So, the I, best beer I had, you know, we, we went to the river, uh, brought some, went to Parker, so I, I brought some, uh, some burning beer. I wanted some light beer to drink out there. So I brought some, uh, um, I brought a, some BBR and, um, and a Weird Vultures Fair. Yeah. Um, both was, of those. They were both great because it was, you know, 90 degrees during the day. It'd get a little bit cooler during the night. And then, you know, we also had a double dose for Morris. Like, it was a phenomenal that scout. Was Still holding up well. That was, uh. Yeah, that was a shocker to everybody there, too. Yeah, and I think they. <laughs> That's me with that double dose. <laughs> Finishing it off. Delish. Yeah, it was uh that was great. I um I brought a couple beers. I did the BBR and the uh vultures and then um I got, I had something else that I was really uh Oh, I brought some of these uh McCreatures. Mm. Mason McCreatures along. We are I've already had those, but gosh, it's always a good refresher. Yeah, you gave me one of those. I had that recently. It was Did you share it with your wife? No. Oh, <laughs> sorry, <She doesn't>, honey. <laughs> it was in the wrong time time zone or whatever. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I was uh, I was at Creative Creature yesterday, uh, tasting up on some of their uh, little scrumptily umptuouses. So I was quite uh, quite impressed with them again. But that's about it for me on the Mason the creature. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah. I'll send you yeah, that is a super one. tasty beer. That's <laughs> if you really promise good. to share it with your wife, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah. Does Christy like sours? No, it's that's not, not sour. a sour. <laughs> that's like a kind of a <laughs> yeah. what is that? A uh, I guess it's a it's a fruity, slushy. Yeah, 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 like smoothie. She does. Yeah. It. Did she like it? What, what, what tends to happen around our house? Is I started about five, and then I ended about seven, and she starts at about seven and ends when. Oh, all right. So we're just on okay. Different. Smoothie sour ale with banana, acai, blueberry, raspberry, coconut, and vanilla. Yeah, mm. no, that's a pretty tasty beverage. That's for an sure. all. That's like, uh, what do they call that? I don't know. What do they call Lionel that? Lionel Richie. Mm-hmm. All night long. All I don't night. know if I could do too many of those. Gosh, that's I could. Good. They're, They're good. They're good. But when I, you I throw uh, that thing up there and that banana hits you. I'm just like, I love that flavor just mm-hmm. right off the top. This is an all night long beer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This you is know? the yeah. first one was, and I can't imagine you could drink. Or the, uh, uh, the yeah, the the, the um, light driving the, down the road. Yeah, either one of them. Yeah. Wow, we don't condone that, Charlie. No, we don't. But I mean, on your own property. Yeah, when you're on off uh, the, the when you're mowing the lawn. Yeah, on we uh, three wheel driving. Yeah, facility. Oh, so this little off road trip, Charlie brought me on this uh, this little trail and tried to get me to break my. Oh. My uh, van in half. <laughs> Break in half? Not in half, Kind of no. tweaked it a little bit. Here yeah, here, he, uh, but um, You know what? Those things got to go away anyways. So, was yeah. it not a beautiful spot? No, it was beautiful, but I didn't realize, you know, that yeah. I'd... Uh, I think the clearance, you know, if my, um, my vehicle's a little higher than Charlie's vehicle, a little wider maybe. Yeah, yeah. your height is, is your a nemesis. All right. But I think even if with the height... If you can, um, you get a little bit better idea of where your wheels are and what you're putting them on and what you have to do to avoid crunching down on rocks, you'll be a lot better off. Did you you thing, noticed when you came back up, you did a lot better job than when you went down. All right. That's yeah. probably the last time I do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'll probably put a, the suspension on that van because it needs one. But mm. it'll be the last time that I go rock crawling it wasn't rock <laughs> crawling <laughs> these guys tried rock to climbing. like i mean it like it, it was a washed out it had hey. been washed out oh yeah there's the last this is what time they we were said there. originally it's essentially like a fire road mm-hmm. it may be it right is. a fire goat that they, you know fire uh, road that they use billy goats to uh <laughs> to clean you know it was it i'm gonna have to admit it was a little rockier than what we expected because we'd been there three and a half weeks earlier and it wasn't that bad. Mm. And then, you know, the trees, you know, I'm 10 feet tall, not five and a half feet tall. So you that probably uh, 
He trimmed a few branches. Yeah, you know, my paint trimmed a few ban- branches. Is really what Wood doesn't about. scratch like that, though. You yeah, know, like, those you are all, that, they buff out. That'll all buff out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Buff out. We'll see. I got a guy. Yeah, I'll bet you do. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll see what happens. We'll We're going know. to Pubber. All right, let's yeah. see with this Pubber. Pubber! This is a really good dark ale. It's dark. Ale. Dark ale. Ale. It's like very, but very, a mild. Very dark British. Ale. Dark, mild yeah. ale. It is British. And it's, uh, they had one that was a, a, a more, um, I don't know what they call it, bitter, they called mm. it. So I mm. suggested that I go with this one. I like the bitter. Mm-hmm. It's like a deep amber brown. Mm-hmm. So mm. it smells great. This reminds me of um, Death Brewing beers. Yep. So it's, you know, they write this up. It's no secret that they love sessionable beers around Ren House. This little beer is a staff favorite. Uh, the 3% ABV dark mild <laughs> ale that we can just power through multiple pints of after a long day fulfilling all of your orders. Pubber just nails everything we were looking for. The pale chocolate malts, the roasted wheats, oats, and a variety of caramel malts. Uh, and some other subtle roasted malts to build some big flavor for a little beer. Uh, threw in a mild... Uh, amount of uh, good old Says hops uh, throughout the brewing process, and we ended up with a really nice English dark mild ale uh, that just makes you want to feel like you're sitting in an English pub without a care of the world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, notes of Earl Grey tea, rainy afternoons, uh, were there hard caramels, and wisps of brownies in the oven. Were there caramels? So that's what they say. That's why Chris wanted no some of this. Ha ha. No, it's delish. Oh, that is great. That does... Uh, yeah, when I when I smell like a bitter here, you know, here in town, I do. I certainly think of Deft as well. Yeah, but that was we were. I tasted this one there, and it was fantastic. Mm. Also, so had to get it. You know, like I said, with the all those the Kolsch, the Valley, and the Valley Light, I had to uh, had to bring those home. Hey, so that's like you know that's a picture of their bar, the uh, the pubber. Yeah, I mean that's mm-hmm. the the setup of the whole uh-huh. the bar. We you know we sat here here and here, <laughs> looking right there. They uh, that's a cool little spot. There's certainly a lot of uh, and you know how great like just the the low ABVs but like a full flavor. Yeah, super you flavor. Know? The uh, and that place is like right off a, a main road there, isn't it? It is off. I mean, it seemed to be a, a pretty busy. I don't it's know. A if four it, lane. Road. I don't know if we. Yeah, I think it. You know, it had freeway access. I thought. Yeah, we drove we go, down and got on just the freeway. Drove straight down and got on the freeway. It was pretty cool. Oh yeah, after you left me in the dirt there. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you peeled out on the to the left and and uh, oh, I pulled drove. up and it's just nothing but cars for like twenty eight minutes. Cars? Yeah, he we was did. His, so uh, he was. So him and Jeremy were both uh, in their vehicles, and then he uh, didn't. Jeremy didn't come down to the. And then I brought my van. Right. Okay. Um. So like, uh, yeah, we went to Parker, drove a van out there, and then we like caravaned over to mm-hmm. Flagstaff, went to the Overland Expo, then went to this place called Schnebly Hill, mm. which Charlie's got some views there. Um, and then we uh, we went. Were you guys down on to, CB radio the whole time? Or what? Yeah. So we had like, else? yep. I just <laughs> left them in the dust, you know. Um, they were yeah. Uh, we were like back eating sandwiches by the time they got to uh, to the Overland Expo. Um, and then we, uh, yeah, we went to the Schnebly Hill, hung out, grilled some brats, and then um, we'll have to next post day we went to Ren House. We'll have to post a picture of Schnebly Hill. Yeah, we'll have to include that. That was really cool. Not the golfing, but. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> the, uh, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. The, um, it was a beautiful view, for yeah. sure. I, I banged up the, uh, uh, the steps on my, G- or on my uh, van on, on my van a little bit, but you know what? That's what it's for. Yep. Before bringing it out there, yeah, trying to bend the thing in half. Well, I think it would. I think it was a safer trip than coming up forty-five minutes up that trail. The other from you know, Sedona, all the other uh, um, write-ups that I had read about vans on Schnebly Hill, they all came the front way. None of them took this uh, death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Try well, to drop. They off. could though. <laughs> Allegedly, oh, yeah. I mean, I guess if I could do it, anybody could do it. Yeah. I mean, first time off-roading that thing. Dude, you did a great job. I'll have to say. I mean, made it out of their hole. Made it yeah. over back to San yeah. Diego. But the uh, no broken. Axle. We'll have to, we'll have to put a picture of <laughs> Schnebly Hill so that everybody gets to see where mm-hmm. we were parked. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, for sure. It's it's a gorgeous view if you have four wheel drive and you can get there. And I did it in a nineteen and a half foot van. 
Mm. So anybody can make it there. Yeah. You can make it there in any stock vehicle. Mm. Well, I've actually seen... Uh, not any stock vehicle. Yeah, four, yeah. Four-wheel yeah, drive yeah. vehicle. Because yeah. if you didn't make it, I was going to mention that a Subaru made it up there. Well, that's a little lighter. Like, yeah, that van is 9,500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a 10,000, you know, I mean, all 10, with me, with me and my co-pilot and all of our gear in there, 10,000 pound mm. vehicle. Easy. You know, like, I drove that thing out there, so. It was interesting, Good for job. sure. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I but, wish, I'm glad I did it. I probably won't do it again. Fire <laughs> roads for me from mm. now on out. <laughs> You'll park and hike you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I love could the have, view. I probably could have hiked in as quickly yeah. as I drove. You in. could have dropped your motorcycle off the back and my scooter. Yourself, exactly. That's, that's what that would have been, a dirt been dangerous. Bike. A dirt bike would yeah. have been fine, but a yeah. no, that's scooter. You gotta get yourself yeah, one of those, uh, those really cool electric okay. mountain bike things. Ooh, I know that's what we were looking at those. I sent you a picture of one today. Oh. He's trying to set me up with like a little Costco one while I'm looking for like you know some of those bikes they. We talked to a lot of guys at the, uh-huh. a, a yeah. few of them, at this Overland Expo right. about uh, electric mountain bikes. Mm-hmm. They range between five thousand and fifteen thousand dollars. But they, um, yeah, they had some that were like you know decent ones, but yeah. you know big electric. You can pretty much go anywhere, mm-hmm. right? Like, but you know, one of those was it was like forty mile range, I think, and uh, twenty miles an hour, right? And that's like full assist, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like that's it doing that's essentially. Not, you're not doing anything. Yeah, exactly. So if you start pedaling, put it at fifty percent assist, you know, you're like if you're biking ten miles an hour, you're doing twenty miles an hour yeah, for yeah. eighty miles. Yeah. Wow. Or whatever. I, I guess we didn't ask him, but he said full assist was forty. Yeah, he said forty miles range with like, that. Dang. That's but how he said, do. they pointed to me, he said, somebody with you would be about 30. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what are you trying, trying to, say? to say? Right. <laughs> It'd be like, mm. yeah, so the, um, no, they, uh, yeah, they're cool. I got to, I got to look into them. I'm just having a tough time. I, I there's a lot of stuff out. Yeah. For that man. And I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I'd suggest renting a couple first to see what you like and what you don't like. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to have to do. Yep. I'm advising you to do that mm-hmm. as you your go. advisor. As yeah. my advisor. Perfect. Yeah. I, advise I think it's you. a very vi- wise Yeah, thing exactly, to exactly. Try before you buy. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, we're talking about renting some here shortly. You can yeah. rent them here in, in, in San Diego. There's yeah, a few yeah. places. Yeah, you know, 100 there's bucks a bunch. Today. Yeah, there are a bunch, I think. Yeah. But what a way to do, like, you know, to bang out, like, 50 miles. Like, drive up to Encinitas for a piece of pizza, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? <laughs> some Cardiff crack. Some of that brisket. What do you got here, Charlie? This is uh, American Star, or Arizona Star, I'm sorry. Yeah, Arizona Star. So this, this is, is their, their modern, pale ale. Yeah, they say it's their uh, their uh, their house modern American pale ale. Hazy in appearance, but built to be drinkable, crisp, yeah. moderately bitter. Ale showcasing pure citra hops. Oh, you about. can smell those buggers right there, man, on that nose. 5.6 ABV, mainly our, uh, our house pills malt, a touch of uh, dextrin malt, and just a bit of raw Sonoran white wheat. Yeah. It looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, it smells so mm-hmm. good. That's that citra, man. Mm-hmm. It says uh, bittered early and uniformly with Cascade, then hit with a small amount of citra in the Whirlpool before being dry hopped with a modest, modest two pounds per barrel of uh, citra. I like it. It is really good. That's Moderation one of my favorite pale ales. Really it's right up there with uh, Pseudo Soup. Five and a half percent pale ale. Oh, yeah. five, All oh day long. Mm-hmm. These I are guess. amazing beers. Yeah, no, they're uh, these they're guys know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They certainly do. They're making great beer, and it's you know I love that can artwork there. Mm-hmm. That's the Arizona flag right there. This is so simple. I mean, all the cans are simple but clear. And yeah, you could read everything. And well, this uh, you don't this need a uh, mag- here. You don't need a magnifying glass. They're super but- legit. I love that artwork. The rest of them are kind of cool, you know, but uh, simple. Yeah, they're it's simple, sense. clean, really mm-hmm. clean. Um, yeah, no, that's great. A little hazy, uh, hazy look. Hazy pale. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's tasty beer. You certainly taste that uh, that citra. So um, there's been some updates on the website. So we posted some stuff about San Diego breweries that won some awards recently. Oh, perfect. Um, from San Diego Magazine. There's also going to be an update on the the beers that the breweries that we've had over the last four months. So yeah. just a graphic that has all of them on there. So oh, awesome. I just spreadsheet. Want it's not a spreadsheet. <laughs> it's just basically a picture of all the, all the, um, a collection of all the logos for the last four months. Oh, great. So last year we published, last year I pub- put that on the website at the end of the year. Yeah. It covered now the you- whole thing, but now I'm like trying to break it in the four month cycles. Oh, perfect. So. 
It's kind of crazy when you look at it that way. It was like how many breweries we've had. There's a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah. How, what's the total count? Do we? Uh... No, I don't know. okay. A lot. That's probably I, a lot. I still, I still need a. <laughs> That's a lot. I need yeah, we need an intern. <laughs> we do need an intern. Charlie, turn in. Mm-hmm. I'll turn in. You'll be the intern. I won't be the intern. I'll turn in though. All righty. Well, so uh, so we had the uh, four beers, all from all the staples. Would you like you the know? best? Man, um, I think I'm going. Uh, I'm going with that Valley beer. I just like that that super clean, um, just the yeah Steve? corn lager. This Arizona Star is really isn't good. it? Yeah, gosh, and like they the I mean, oh my gosh, it's but it's so hoppy that I like hoppy, and it's like it's I I think this like I said, I don't give credit to too many pale ales, but uh, let me tell you. Well, this is like the haziest pale ale. I know, but I don't pay any attention to that. I know, but I mean, that's I read the ama- label first. It's amazing. But the thing is, is um, it's right up there with uh, my favorite pale ale, which is uh, Pseudo Sue from Toppling Goliath. So if if you can get in that zone, dude, you're doing it right, let me tell you. And this one hasn't won any awards? No. Mm-hmm. no. Shocker. That thing should have been gold medal stuff. Did uh, Sudo Sue ever win anything? Um, I don't, yeah, I mean, let's see. I'm sure. I'm sure it has. Maybe I don't know. I uh, I don't know how it couldn't. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of people have had a uh, had themselves a Sudo Sue. Oh, that's a five point eight percent. You know, pale ale, citra hot pale ale, phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal beer. Four hundred and twenty-seven thousand check-ins of wow. the uh, the regular rendition of uh-huh. it. Then they do like. All mosaic those. you know they'll do all all uh, all different kinds of uh hmm. well i don't know if i don't know if you tried king sue yet mm-hmm. king sue is their yeah. triple i don't know I you think, bought me lots of yeah music. i think we uh i think you did have one okay. at suzanne's birthday i think oh uh, okay. yeah well, so it was it was on tap at a at a place up in wyoming i was at it's called the bird and i was crushing we're um yeah we're good uh, I was crushing these things when I found out that they had that on tap. I was just like, <laughs> bring me two and keep them coming. You know, yeah, and the guy's yeah. all like, really? And I'm like, absolutely. Yeah. Suzanne's party was like the last party before. <laughs> it was. It was February 19th of 2020. <laughs> like Everything shut yeah, down after that. Must yeah, have been a super was, spreader event. Yeah. Must have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like the last thing a lot of people had done. Yeah, yeah. for us at least. I'm looking at the pictures. I was trying to figure out if I took a picture of the beer. And I... um, yeah, by uh, yeah, two weeks later, we were shut down. We were locked in our houses. I slipped out a few times. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I drove across the country like four yeah. times in the whole COVID era. Yeah, era thing. It's fine. I mean, you got and everything. Nothing bad happened because you. I think you're, already because you're an introvert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were next to I didn't see anybody. Have... Didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> Didn't drink any beer. Yeah, no, it was a uh, it was an odd yeah. odd time to see how weird things were from state to state. Different. All right, right. King Sue. There it is. You checked it there in. There it is. Yeah, it's a wow. tasty beer. Yeah, for Chasing sure. Tasting Citra some- for residents. Uh, well, let's put it this way: on tap, it's even better. Yeah, mm. I think we messed around and uh, got some uh, some bottles to drink at some point from. Top Goliath. Oh, the dark meats. Yeah, the stouts. Some stouts. Are... Well, stouts are difficult to get a hold of. That's why they're they, uh... secretly locked into a safe that I have that is, you know, chilled to the perfect 54 degrees. Charlie, they can see them right there. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I can't see them. Those are Horus. <laughs> <laughs> Still, wow, they're secure. Yeah, no, those are tasty beers. Absolutely. Yep. I'm a big fan. They're uh, they're they're light. You know, they're um like all of those beers, like I think our uh the heaviest one was that Arizona Star at five point six percent. Yeah. The um So you said the, the light or the uh the Colch. The, the, the Valley you liked the best. I did, yep. Okay. The Valley. You liked the, the Arizona Star. Arizona Star. Star. Still going with that one. You know what? I, it's a toss up between the the Valley and the Arizona Star for me. So mm-hmm. we're all three in agreement, basically, of what's going on there. Yeah, they were phenomenal. Even that Pubber, like I love a mm-hmm. uh, yeah. an ESB. Yeah. But uh, you know, if I was gonna like you know to to Steve's point, be, be stranded on a desert island, 
uh, it would be that valley beer. <laughs> or a, you know, I guess if it was a snow-covered uh, island, it'd probably be that English beer. <laughs> those, those are the two I'm going with. It would be a horse if it was cold. All right, brothers. Do these end up at Bottle Logic or no? At where? Um, no, they are bottle craft. Oh, bottle craft, sorry. No, I don't think they. Um, I don't know it's that they. It's a short have. trip to yeah. Arizona. So bottle craft, get yeah, your act think, together. You need yeah, to get some of these beers. I right? don't think they distribute. Yeah, they, yeah I don't. Maybe know Maybe locally, but mm-hmm. that's yeah. about it. Mm-hmm. Beer run. Yeah, yeah. no, they uh, and it's it's certainly worth it if you're in that area. Absolutely. There it is. Hey. Cheers. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.